Hey what's up everyone, so welcome back to another video and like I said in my previous video of the new build for Windows 10 devices I'm gonna show you a full uh, in-depth view of the new uh, Windows Store the new revamped UI and stuff like that and when you open as you can see it opens quite okay but until it loads everything it takes some time and this is the new home screen it, it, you can see straight that it's a bit different you have here top apps, top games, featured, collections and then we have some apps here which are shown also uh, but also one cool thing here when you go for example uh, let's open for example top, top apps and we'll install some application but I want to show you for example uh, as you see it takes really some time to open everything um, let's go for example in Viber and I'm gonna show you here the straight change that they made when you open an application, a game, whatever but when you open something it takes really so much time but anyway and the first thing you notice the change uh, let's try to, to focus um, before it was the, the icon of the application it, it, it shows here a color before it was showing like, like here the full square of color and now it starts at the top with the color and then it goes in dark which is really nice this change uh, even before it was okay, but th this is even better and then here it shows like some applications like people also like which is kind of bullshit, but they want to like to To give you more applications and more and then here it shows the screenshots of the application which is really fast to to scroll these um, pictures and then and then under that it shows playable on and this playable on means that this application is available on and it's available on PCs, mobile, Surface, Hub and if there will be it if there will be available for HoloLens for example it will be also here uh, and then here it shows the description of the Viber and then when you press in more uh, I didn't press it opens this pop up and it shows you the description of Viber and then it shows here the system requirements which it shows you also that your phone has this requirements but it doesn't have this requirement with an X it doesn't have telephony whatever this telephony is my phone doesn't have that then recommended additional information uh, approximate size installation yeah, blah 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 and then har hardware requirements also has this more and when you press it shows you this pop-up and I like this it's a small pop-up before it was bigger pop-up how there was many information and also here more it shows also again small pop-up which I really like this one but there is no information about when was the last time that this application got updated but I guess Microsoft doesn't want to bring that option because they don't want to show you that an application was updated for example last year or something like that but yeah and then at the bottom it shows you the feedback of uh, people but one interesting uh, option is now you can choose how you want to see the feedback and you can choose for most helpful, most recent, highest rated, lowest rated and then filter by 5 star, 4 stars or 1 star uh, then also here mobile which for now it shows you only mobile but I guess this one will, will be available for Windows um, for desktop you can press here uh, mobile, desktop and so on and you see the feedback that this application has on desktop that uh, the feedback has on mobile but at the moment it doesn't work and yeah latest uh, last 30 days lifetime blah 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 and then one also interesting option it's in the not option but uh, fix one fix is in my library which my library takes kind of some time the first time you open um, but remember on previous builds when you're in my library, when you want to press show all, it was just trying to open and it wasn't opening at all, at all. Uh, or it was opening after hours or the application was just going to crash. And now the first time um, it took some time, but it opens, which is, wow, this option I didn't see from Windows Phone 8.0. Uh, because here are all my applications that I installed from Windows Phone 7, Windows Phone 8.0, 8.1 and now 10 all the application that I installed or I have installed for example 
Uh, this one here I have installed, I ha Twitter I have installed. This one I, does, I don't have installed, but I can install it from here. Then upgrade advisor, I couldn't install it on previous builds, now I can install it. And so on, Instagram also. And so on, let's open for example an application. Uh, Dueling, it was Dueling I think, let's go Dueling. Dueling. Also when you search for something, it takes also some time to open this search which is a bit annoying but still I mean it's quite the changes are nice uh, hopefully Microsoft will still like improve the performance on the store but the new changes are really cool and there is one more change that I want to show you which I, I'm trying to <laughs> show you now which I see dwelling here now has this uh, different color green because the icon is green but as you can see it's not like full square here green but it starts with green and goes black which is really cool, it's like more modern, more beautiful to watch. And here, Dueling, you see, Dueling is available on PC, mobile, HoloLens and Surface Hub. If, if, like I said, HoloLens, if, if it's available, the application on HoloLens, and it will show you here the, all the platforms that this application is available. Let's install it, and when you, on the install, see here, start downloading, but let's go in the download and updates. And as you can see here the change, also it shows you this square here. Before it was starting to download, like a, like starting a line here, starting download, download, download. And then it was going until the end, the, this line. But now it's only this square. So you will see that it's starting downloading. Then acquiring license, downloading. It still see, it still remains in this square. All the information still remains on this square. But let's see, it will start like filling up. As you can see, it starts start it's starting filling up, downloading. I'm touching to not go to the screen to not go black. Um, downloading and then it should start to install. Let's uh, wait. Restoring user data. Now you can't pause or cancel because it's installing, but still it stays on this uh, square, installing until it will fill up. And then now I got the pop-up that uh, got installed, and here it says completed, which before, like I said, it was coming here a line until at the end of the screen which these are most the the most um, changes on the new UI they really it's really cool the new changes um, here like on the main screen only these like are different this is the same these are the same but uh, the most difference is when you open an application a game whatever and then with the like how the application or game how here it's detailed detailed but yeah, the main problem for now it's that it takes it takes some time to open. But uh, I really like the new changes. You see here, this game is available only for mobile. But it's really nice the new changes. Uh, I think it's more intuitive. Um, and yeah, thank you guys for watching, and see you in the next one.